New at 10 o'clock, more violent because of your hairstyle? That's what one local school district is saying that its research actually proves. We're talking about Barbers Hill ISD. Yes, the same school district that was in the news for punishing students with dreadlocks. Channel 2's Bill Barajas is live in Mont Bellevue tonight with a closer look at what the district is saying. Bill? The district superintendent created quite the firestorm over social media after he put out two separate tweets about a district sanctioned study. In that study, he said there was a direct correlation between safer schools and better grades if a district enforced strict hair policies or hair codes. We, of course, wanted to know more about the study, how it was paid for and how it was conducted. But our repeated requests for interviews were either denied or just flat out ignored. The spotlight is once again on Barbers Hill ISD. <laughs> and I mean, Come on. Focus coming after two tweets by Superintendent Greg Poole. In them, he said, quote, the BH board sanction study showed statistically significant correlations of higher academic success and safer schools of high schools which had more stringent dress codes. In a second tweet, he said in part, students are 10 times as likely to commit violent offenses in high schools with no hair coat. Community members in the area weren't buying it. Some of the nicest people I know have either but, I mean, they're both ends of the spectrum, bald, dreadlocks, you got guys with mohawks. I mean, who cares? They're dudes. The school should have just left that alone. This, of course, almost a year after Barbers Hill High School senior DeAndre Arnold withdrew from school after he was told to cut his dreadlocks or he wouldn't be allowed back on campus and wouldn't be able to attend his graduation. Folks on Twitter also responding, some saying discipline, dress code, and high expectations equals student success. Go Barbers Hill. Others saying I would love to see the data that this information is coming from. We asked the district on several occasions to release the study to us. They refused instead only telling us that data from over 1,400 Texas high schools was evaluated, including academic ratings, graduation rates, dropout rates, discipline referrals, and expulsions during the 2018-2020 school years, along with each high school's dress and grooming policies. And despite that study and the tweets released by the superintendent in August, a federal judge ruled that Barbers Hill's dress code was discriminatory. Now, we reached out to the superintendent, Greg Poole, about the study and wanted to know how it was paid for. We also tried Dr. Christine Bruden, who was in charge of the study, and seven school board members, all listed there on your screen, all of which ignored our request for an interview. Not a single one responded. We will, of course, continue trying. But for now, we're live in Mount Bellevue. Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Keep us posted. Thank you, Bill.